what we're going to do here for you is give you a little bit of a comparison between the braking strengths and properties of a 12 and a half gauge low carbon wire that we see in traditional barbed wire and a little bit of information and braking strength on the 14 gauge wire that you see in the new Cattleman high tensile barbed wire. We're going to use a machine called a tensile tester and basically what the tensile tester does is pulls wire apart until it breaks and then here on the gauge you'll actually see what the actual breaking strength of the wire was. So we'll go ahead and put our 12 and a half gauge low carbon wire in there that's used in the 12 and a half gauge low carbon barbed wire. And notice that the machine takes it to about 440 to 450 pounds breaking strength and then at about 450 almost 460 pounds we see the 12 and a half gauge low carbon wire break. In comparison to that, we're going to look at the 14 gauge wire that we use in the Cattleman barbed wire. We'll go ahead and again put that in our machine and you'll notice that our red pointer stayed in the position where our 12 and a half gauge wire broke. That way we can watch it as it goes past that braking strength and actually see what our brake strength is. So we'll turn the machine on again and we'll get up around 800 pounds and we'll see our brake in our wire, it's actually about uh, 770 pounds where that wire broke. So you can see that it's almost double in breaking strength in comparison to what we saw in our 12 and a half gauge wire. What that translates to for you with the Calumon barbed wire is a lighter yet stronger barbed wire that has no elongation to it. One of the things that you notice with the low carbon wire was that when it hit its breaking strength the machine kind of stalled, but it kept pulling the, the wire apart. So we have about an 11% elongation with our low carbon wire. You notice when we got our 800 pound break on our high tensile wire, that pretty much broke right away. Uh, high tensile wire typically has less than half of that 11% break. This is a real quick comparison for you. I want to take a look at our 12 and a half gauge low carbon wire, which if we remember broke just a little over 400 pounds. Now we're going to go ahead and put a high tensile wire in there. This is the wire that's used for high tensile electric fences that many of you sell in your stores and that you see out there in the field. So we'll go ahead and put our 12 and a half gauge wire in. And again, this is an identical diameter, identical size. It's just the difference between a low carbon wire and the high tensile. So we'll go ahead and turn our machine on again. And you'll notice that it takes well over 1,400 and actually breaks at 1,480 pounds. So you can see that our high tensile 12 and a half gauge wire is almost three times stronger than our 12 and a half gauge low carbon wire.